Hello, people. I'm going to do a review on the Droid Razor. Um, this is a headphone I got yesterday. I had an upgrade. Uh, it's, it's the best phone I've ever had. It's very quick. See, it's just... And the contacts with it's different now. You can put like a lot more contacts. It doesn't take much space at all. I downloaded this battery widget. There's your gallery thing. You can sync it up to in to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Music widget. Music's a little bit different now. From what I can tell, I had the Droid X2, it's different than that, um, you go up to here, and it has all these recommended songs that you could, that you should download, and you just go to your library, and there's your library. Okay. Yeah. Um, the power button's on the side, right there not on the top anymore. On the okay. On the top uh you have micro USB uh HDMI and a three point five millimeter headphone. Um it has a one point three megapixel front-facing camera, it shoots 720p video, you can talk on it, you know, everything. The screen is made out of Gorilla Glass, so, you're gonna get, it's not gonna scratch very easily. On the back, you've got a 8 megapixel camera, uh, 1080p video, a um, little bit higher resolution there. It's got one flash instead of two, like on the Red HP. Um, um, see, this does have a two flashes. This one does only have one. Sorry. Um, that's my brother's. Um, the back is made out of Kevlar. It's splash resistant, so if you're like at the pool talking on your phone, somebody jumps in the water, splashes it on it, it's gonna be okay. Um, your volume rocker is on the side right there. It's a little bit. Uh, I don't. I wish it was still over here on this side, but you know, it's right there. It's okay. You cannot take the back off of this phone. Well, I mean, you can but you risk breaking it. So, I'm not going to do it. I'm no expert. Right here, in this little port thing, you've got your 4G LTE SIM card and your micro SD card. I did get the 16 gigabyte version. I just took it out of my Droid X2, put it in this. It's okay. Got all the music on it and shit. There's your speaker right there, it's on the camera. And then you've got your earpiece, this Motorola right there, it's right underneath that. Um, there's some cool new apps on this phone. Damn it. Can't get them, that's what right. Um, <clears throat> there's one that is called smart actions which I think is just really cool okay so here's your rules um, there's home which adjusts device settings at your home work adjust by setting at work workout play music when you use your headphones nighttime battery saver if you forget to charge at night this action will help you make your device's battery last longer that's awesome Shit. I can't. 
fucking figure it out. Okay, but there's one where you can um say like if at your job or for me at school, it um as soon as your GPS uses it, as soon as you go to that location, it automatically turns your phone on silent, just so it doesn't ring during class or during a meeting or something. Um, I think that's cool. And another thing. Let me go to your settings. Display. In pocket detection. And what it does, lock your device automatically when inserted in pocket. So you put it in your pocket, and if you forget to press the power button, it automatically locks it so it doesn't waste your battery. I think that's really cool. Ambient light, it adjusts the screen brightness using the light around you. So if it's darker, it's going to make your screen brighter. If it's lighter, it's going to make your screen darker. You can turn that off if you want. I have it on just because I think it's pretty cool. Um, uh, they have some live wallpapers. Um, they added, they only have added one new one. And that's forest. Um, in addition to displaying current weather conditions, this wallpaper can also be used to tell the temperature. So, what it's doing, it displays the weather that is outside right now. Apparently, it's snowing where I am. I have no fucking idea. It's 4G LTE, really fast phone people. I am telling you, it is fast. It's, <clears throat> I'd say the LTE is faster than if you were on Wi-Fi with full bars. So fast. Um, the lock screen, a little bit different. Um, there is the camera right there. So you slide it. Um, it goes straight to your camera. Um, front facing camera, you just tap that, goes straight to it, goes back at the TV. Um, you can auto shot, voice chat, anything you really want. Um, it's just, it's a good phone. It's extremely thin. Like, let me just get you in your phone. I can't do it. Hey, just get it away. Here, just take it. Just don't get the screen. Okay. So, look at that. Okay, so. Um, it's just super thin phone. I'm telling you what, the Droid X and the Droid X2 were super thin phones, and this phone's thin in the them, so. Alright, well I'm running on 10 minutes here, I'm gonna get off. Alright, if you're looking for a good 4G LTE phone on Verizon, I suggest the Droid Razor. There is the Droid, or there is the Droid Razor Max, um, uh, that's good too. Just has bigger battery. Which one of the only differences? Goodbye, people.